Hello guys, welcome to my channel Sevology. You guys must have observed that certain things floats in water as you can see over here and certain things get sink in water. So what is the reason behind this case? Okay, why certain things floats and why certain things get sinks in water? So our today's topic is related to this situation and the term specific gravity and relative density is related to this question so let's start our today's topic first of all let us define what is specific gravity it is the ratio of the first thing to note is it is the ratio okay it is the ratio of density which is denoted by rho or specific weight which is denoted by gamma and uh, of any substance to that of density of water so it is the ratio of density of any substance to that of density of water so density plays the important role in this definition okay it is also called as relative density it is uh, important to mention over here that specific gravity and relative density are both the same and relative density could be mass density which is denoted by rho or it could be weight density which is denoted by gamma so mathematically specific gravity is equal to specific gravity is denoted by s and it is equal to density of any substance divided by density of water or it can be equal to specific weight of any substance uh, to specific weight of water and it can be represented as gamma of any substance divided by gamma of water it has no unit as I discussed over here that it is the ratio so it do not have any unit and the specific gravity of pure water is equal to 1 how as we know that pure water density of pure water divided by density of pure water and the density of water is thousand thousand divided by thousand it will become one so it is important to remember that specific gravity of pure water is one let's proceed now coming towards the question that why some objects float and other objects sinks in water so let's keep it simple and take the example of steel and wood it is in common observation that steel sinks in water whereas wood floats in water why as we know that density as i told uh, you in the start of this lecture that density plays important role and the density of steel is 7800 kg per cubic meter and density of wood is 500 kg per cubic meter and it is also important to remember that the specific gravity of water is equal to 1 uh, if we find the specific gravity of a steel its formula is density of steel divided by density of water as we discussed that density of any substance substance could be you can say solid or liquid okay the density of steel divided by density of water and the density of a steel is 7800 divided by density of water so it will become 7.8 again it has no unit simply the value is 7.8 now coming towards wood similarly the same formula will be implied that density of a wood divided by density of a water so putting the values the density of a wood is 500 and the density of water is 1000 kg per cubic meter by simplifying we will get the value 0 0.5 with no unit 7.8 is greater than 1 which is the specific gravity of water and whereas this value is less than 1 okay so the object or substance having value greater than 1 will sink in water i hope you are getting my point similarly if the object having value less than 1 
it will float in water so this is the simple answer to this question that why certain things floats and certain things sinks in water so that's all for today in the end you are requested to please subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates